Ready, set, go. Oh, uh, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Nuzlocke. Number two. Technically, this is like number, I think, four. If you're counting like the three. If you're counting like the, the first two attempts uh of the of the origin of the first series that i did if you watch the first episode you'll know that i lost the first rival battle in like like twice so technically this is the fourth attempt but this is it's the second series that i'm making about my about trying to do a platinum nuzlocke so I think it counts. I think it counts. Uh, and I don't think that those trainer battle losses count in my mind. You can have, if you really want to have your own head cannon that, you know, dictates that I had to have lost those Pokemon. That's your prerogative. Now, where did I come from? Oh, right, I did come from this direction because there were all these fishermen. Okay. Uh, Eterna Gym. Does Eterna City have gym? I feel like it did. I know Eterna City has this big old. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey, call. You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. Honestly, this is my... I've done this... This is my second time through here. I've, I've read the text on the on the Pokemon statue. I'm really not here as a tourist anymore. Oh, hey, Cyrus. So, this is Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world or diamond space in an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh, or the Pokemon in Diamond Space. Sinnoh's myth. Its growth needs investigation. Pardon me. Stand aside. Yeah, okay, Cyrus. See ya. Have a good day. Oh, hey. When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. I, mean, I bet that ain't the first time that you've ever had a flash of inspiration when we've smacked together. <laughs> Am I right, people? An easy way to become a great trick. These are children. Get... No, no more of that. Come on. Come on. Ooh. It's time to get a new uh, Pokemon. 211. Let's see what we got here. Actually, wait a minute. I'm gonna go head on down to the store and buy some more ball. <gasps> it's in there. Alright, that device you have. It is a Pokedex? Wow, brings back some memories. Got the HMO1. Thanks, Cynthia. Love you. Alright, let's see what we get. What do we got? Ooh, a Bronzor. That'd be great. Steel types are really good to have for a Nuzlocke. Especially, I've been wa I've been worried because there's a battle coming up involving a trainer that has a self-destructing Geo dude. None of my other Pokemon can really handle a self-destruct, uh, but a Steel type could. Come on. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. We got ourselves a bronzer. Nice. Uh, this one is going to be... Beldum. Because it turns into a bell. And it's also um, a steel psychic type. I feel like that, that makes sense. Alright, let's do a bit of training. 
Let's do a bit of grinding just to get everyone up to up to speed because the next trainers down this route get a little difficult. Get a little bit much. So. And nice. Great. Oh! We got ourselves a Staravia. Hell yeah. Love that. Very good. We have th four out of six uh, Pokemon evolved to their second form. I mean, but Beryl's second form is, or Bidoof's second form is their final form. But still, that counts. Hey, bud. Zubat. Doesn't it sound like a ninja bursting from cover? No, it sounds like a Zubat. Sounds like the thing that says its own name that it is. Wow. Another level 14 Zubat. Okay. Bit of extra defense there. Karate Chop. That's a new... That's a new one. Okay, Beldum. Okay, Beldum. You can come on back now. Okay, Beldum. I see ya. Come on, come on back, Beldum. We don't, we don't need you down here. We need you out there. Out there. I'm not giving cut to my starter. I'm not doing that again. This is not a great situation. <laughs> not too happy about this. Oh, there is a... There is a trainer over here. Hey, it's Gardenia. Hey, I'm Gardenia. I'm the stunned gym leader. My last... Oh, wait, no. No, the French accent has to go to... to Fantine. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was my guy. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on the way, said that made me antsy. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back trainer. Don't disappoint me. I don't plan to. In fact, I my team is pretty well equipped. Specifically for a plant type gym. So I might I think I might only need to swap in I might just go and swap in uh Woobat. Thanks for your service, but Barrel. I'll be back for you for sure. For sure. For a long time no see you. You look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, Lucas's father. How many Pokemon have I met? I've met 43 Pokemon. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. Professor Rowan should be delighted. I got an ex oh, I got the experience share. Oh, let's go. This is perfect. Thank you so much, sir. I can do some nice battling with these trainers. I feel very confident with Inferno. Cherubai. Yeah, should be fine. Level 17, that ain't nothing. I'm now worried. And this way, Monferno also gets to... Nice, good level up. Wants to learn Flame Wheel. abso frickin' lootly abso frickin' lootly What a time to learn that. Swapping out Ember. Uh, flame Wheel. Physical. It's a physical attack. 
that's fine. I'm, fig I'm forgetting that ember. Nice. That's huge. Ooh, battle levels up as well. We're gonna get some money. 270 bucks. Can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. You're absolutely right. If by the lovely aroma you mean the smell of your Pokemon getting absolutely roasted. Literally. Literally getting roasted. Really quickly. Like it's spinning fire. Sick. Perfect. If that doesn't cause a level up. There you go, little bat. There you go. Just like my inability to conceal my abundant skill. I don't know if I would call it abundant skill. I think it's just the fact that I have rather powerful Pokemon. Eterna City. Oh, that's where I am. Find the house where the name raider lives, and he will let you change the nickname of any Pokemon in your party. Perfect. We've arrived. Inferno finally gets a new nickname. Official name writer, we found the guy. Yeah. Inferno. It's a decent nickname. Would you like to give it an even better name? Yes. What shall the new nickname be? I genuinely have no idea. Let's see. I know. Uh, da, 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 da. Simmy. Simmy's here. Just another, just another flop and fire monkey. Simmy's here. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Simmy's here. It is a better name than before. How fortunate for me. Thank you for saying so. Okay, Simmy Seer, you're really a part of the gang now. That's exciting. I feel good about that. Eh. Canadians are half bears, half wolves. I mean, some of us are werewolves. I don't know if there's a... For, for you, it's after 12, so today is your birth... Happy birthday, K... K4479. Uh, or do you prefer K? Do you prefer 44? Do you prefer, seven, prefer 79? How would you like me to refer to you? I can keep using your username if you want. K4479. I've... I've... Responded to weirder nicknames. Or weirder usernames. But in either case, happy birthday. Uh, as I was saying, I don't know if there's a bear equivalent... Nice. Just a wrap. That's great. Call you Dean. Nice. Happy birthday, Dean. Um I don't know if there's a if there's a bear equivalent for a werewolf, a werebear. I wouldn't be surprised if that does exist. Um and if they do exist, I can neither confirm nor deny that there are Canadian varieties. Birthdays are grim reminders of uh, how old we get and how closer death is, co is go going to come take our souls. That is one way of looking at it. That is technically one way of looking at it. Uh, any, any milestone that shows how much time has passed, if you want to look at it this way, any milestone is a sign that you're just getting closer to death. Why? I find that doesn't do me any good when it comes to the stuff that I want to do before I die. Because I'm not ready to die yet. I still got stuff to do. I've got errands to run. I ain't got... I don't have... 
in the in in the wise words of William Eilish, there's just no time to die. Death has no chill. <laughs> yeah. I know that's that's technically that is a dark a, a dark line, but for whatever reason I do find that kind of funny. Death ain't fucking around. But then and then again, neither am I. So death just has to deal with that. It's really easy to find things happening in the world. Literally any time that you look. If you're gonna if literally any any time of day, any day, you can if you wanna find out some sort of shitty thing that's happening in the world. It's not it's not hard to find. Um and I think sometimes it's good to be aware of those things. It's good to be aware of um it's good to have sympathy and empathy for and compassion for other people that are going through shitty stuff. Um but if all you're taking out of the tragedy is that is just like despair um it's not gonna do you any good that's I, that's really easy for me to say like I, I i haven't had a particularly hormones have nothing to do with being fucked up they're not they're not i agree but i'm i'm saying that when you are young when you are young you naturally everything even though so many so much of what happens in your childhood and in your youth doesn't necessarily has such a small impact like p kids and teenagers gotta go okay have a good have a good night dean happy birthday um because kids have are so young but also are starting to find themselves uh around those that age um, it makes, it gives them this feeling that what is happening to them during junior high is life or death. And it sucks that sometimes it is. Those feelings, it, it sucks that sometimes those feelings are validified or validated. Yeah, I, I don't know if you... <laughs> I don't know if uh, if you were expecting this this conversation. If you were just gonna drop in and try and say some depressing, some depressing to throw me off my game. Hate to say it, but uh, not gonna slow me down. I'll talk about it, but it ain't gonna slow me down. It's just striking to me that someone would enter. A Pokemon stream and uh, open up with the opening line that you had and then get into some some get, and then start talking about some real dark stuff which again don't have any problem with talking dark uh, I just find it ironic you're a dark person who is weird sure I'm a weird person that sometimes gets dark. We are a little bit kindred spirits in that way. Later. Focus energy. It's going okay. How am I? Good. I just. Today is my first day off from an eight day, like, just absolute hell week. Um. Yeah, for the past eight days, I was getting up at six and uh, working till about 6.30 each day. So, well, no, most of the days it was 5.30, but still. A long week. Sounds like I need a rest. I sure do. This is the really annoying part of Pokemon Platinum. Where you're still fighting Pokemon that, like, 
don't actually attack. They just make it annoying to keep heat keep hitting them. What? Am I winning some? <laughs> Hello, bonk. Uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, it's a bit of a trudge. I'm here. You sure are. Oh, hey, Kim. Oh my god, there's a Kim. Kim, you should, like, get in here. Kim, get in the, get in the chat. Get in the chat, Kim. Kim? Kim, get in the chat. Kim, get in the chat. Kim, oh my god. Get oh in the my chat. god. Oh Kim. my god. Kim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so obnoxious. God. <laughs> Enough wine, you can get whatever you want. No, mm, no. Not I everything. I work with Donald Trump. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I work with children for a living. I'm immune. We're here to kick some bitch asses. We're here to... Specifically, we're here to kick some bitch grasses. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, Motham learned protect. Nice. Motham nice. can now nice. protect nice. as well nice. as attack. Hey, real quick, real eating today. Okay, Whoa. everyone's talking. Uh, have y'all eaten today? Yes. Yeah, I, I ordered a uh, sandwich from a local pub. Okay, cool. But the pork variety. Yes, pork's probably one of my favorite meats. Beef, it's a good uh, one. No, I lied. Beef is not mine. Um, Deer is my favorite meat. Interesting. Mine will, mine would have to be bison. I have not had bison. I want to try bison. I've had bear. We've, we've talked about bison before on yeah. stream, and I have mentioned the fact that it is delicious. What's, like, the texture like, really? Like beef. It's, it, it, yeah, it's, it's higher quality beef, it's, basically. Yeah, it's just a leaner oh. version of beef. It is still cattle. It's still got that same taste to it. That's why they're yeah. really interchangeable. But yeah, it's just it's just like way leaner. It's, it's more flavorful as well. Have you ever had elk? Yeah. Yes. Elk is so good. I think the most exotic thing I've ever eaten was either I guess three would be I've had escargot, I've had frog legs, mm, frog legs and I've good. had and I've had gator. Oh. Good. Oh, Gator. Gator's real good. So good. Isn't that cannibalism for you, Bonk? No. I should probably change my name. I'm not going by Gator anymore. <laughs> you should definitely change that. Yeah, because I'm actually going by Gator. Yeah. <laughs> Woobat wants to learn wing attack. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Look at him growing. Get out of here, leech life. Guess you could say he doesn't suck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a wow. camera on me right now, I'd be looking into it. Yeah. <laughs> like camera pans over to Kim, like the office. Just, just, just the yeah, the perfect Jim Halpert stare. I mean, I'm a goose. What do you expect? Not uh, true. I got a lot of teeth. I got teeth everywhere. Teeth on my tongue, teeth in my mouth. I'm sorry, did you say teeth on your tongue? Yeah, you yeah, geese have, have teeth, teeth on their, their tongue? tongue. They're like saw blades inside it... their mouths. Wait, what what are we talking about? Geese. Goose mouth. Oh geese have I thought you said we have teeth on our tongue, and I'm like, we sure the hell don't. No, we don't, that's for sure. <laughs> oh really? Check your tongue. Ew. Shit. I don't need more teeth than I already have. Okay, I barely take care of these ones. Yeah. I just wish we were like sharks, just had more teeth. Always more teeth. I feel like our skulls would have to be significantly bigger. Also, it would make it would make making out a little bit trickier. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> what the heck is up? Oh my god. Man, Mom. I don't know. <laughs> Mom, hi. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How is everyone? Man, I'm chillin'. 
We poking mons today. We poking some mons. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. Can I, can we I running into a field. We finding oh. a sentient bell. We setting it on fire. Why? Look at me, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Can I get a hell yeah? Hey, you run God. into a field. You find a chingling. You use flame wheel on it. I don't know how much clearer I can be. Yo, there's like Katie. We're genius. Oh, uh, hello, Katie. All right, I Hi, see that Katie. hydration. What's up? Katie, get in the chat. Katie. We miss you. Katie. Uh, miss you so Katie. Uh, hey, get in the oh, chat. Katie's on site right now. Just get in. Oh. Katie is on site. They're just checking God damn it. Right. You're like, on, on site. Uh, oh hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> Do you don't have any time for us? Oh my yeah, god. They're on, they're on site. They're just making sure that we're behaving. Which, like, no, we're not. <laughs> so, we're not. <laughs> when have Katie. we ever? No. When did Katie become the adult here? I don't think that's true. Their name is literally Satan. Oh, what is this little guy? Oh, this is this is the bell that I'm gonna set on fire, oh, or that I already oh, have. Just a little guy that I'm about to roll a spinning inferno into. Just into. a just a little jingle bell that's about to get jingled real good. Yeah. <laughs> the prayer bell, guys. Come on, be be, be considerate. Yeah. I need to know what is your favorite animated movie. Oh. Don't do this to you me. Give me a genre, because I got a lot of favorites. You need to give me a genre, and animated oh. movies are not a genre. Let's see. Uh. Gosh. Kids, you could do Disney, do adult. Adventure. My favorite adventure animated movie. Yes. Ad Anastasia. Mm. Mm. That's a good one, actually. It's beautifully animated. The story is, while technically a myth and a little made up, it's still, there's still some truth behind it. Beautifully acted. It's the closest I feel like animation, 2D animation, has gotten to realism. Mm. In an animated feature. Like, watching that movie, you're sitting there, it's like, this is a real place. This exists. I'm, I'm here. I'm in Paris. Also, sparkles. There's so many sparkles. Uh -huh. It's a very sparkly movie. There you go. Anybody else? Uh, I mean, y'all know how much trouble I have picking favorites. Yes. Um. um. My brain really is only coming up with some of my favorite uh, movies that I watched a lot as a kid. Um, but one of my staple movies as a kid was uh, Thumbelina. Mm. Mm. Oh. Classic Don Bluth. Yeah. Uh, That's a good one, yeah. No, I agree. Thumbelina was a gooder for me. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna end the stream here. Aww, we're having so much fun. It's it's nine thirty. Oh, I mean, we can keep talking <laughs> afterward. It's just not gonna be broadcast. <laughs> but what's the point if my voice is not being? broadcast out into the world of millions of people who don't give a shit. <laughs> if my words are not being constantly published to the world brain, then what even is the point? Yeah, what's the point? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, if you've been watching, uh, thanks for thanks for being here. Um, big thanks to Katie for the subscription. Um, eight months. Damn. 
Uh, if you're watching live or on the VOD, glad you're here. If you're watching and you have not followed, I would love it if you did that. Uh, if you have done that and you haven't subscribed like Katie did, that'd be great. Gets you into our Discord server. Gets you some exclusive emotes. It's a good time. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you can like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Head over to Twitch and do stuff there as well. If you want merch, we got merch at streamlabs.com slash guys slash merch. So yeah. Uh, thanks. And we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye.